minus 3 pi is at the position of minus pi. Here you can now you can do it. You can write down sine because we have to find the trigonometric ratios. Sine minus 3 pi is equal to sine minus pi is equal to minus sine pi that will be 0. Because remember sine minus theta is equal to minus sine theta and cos minus theta is equal to cos theta. That will be here. After that cos minus 3 pi that is cos minus pi and because of this formula this minus will finish it will be cos pi and cos pi is definitely minus 1 yes after that tangent minus 3 pi tangent minus pi minus tangent pi and that will be 0 because sine pi was 0 so 0 over something is equal to 0 after that put tangent minus 3 pi put tangent minus pi minus cotangent pi and remember that this minus cotangent pi is the reciprocal of tangent pi so it will be 1 over 0 minus 1 over 0 something over 0 is infinity so that is infinity after this we have The reciprocal of cos is secant. Secant minus 3 pi, secant minus pi, and secant pi that will be minus 1 over 1, that is minus 1. Again, we have cosecant minus 3 pi, cosecant minus pi minus cosecant pi and dear students actually cosecant is 1 over sine so something over 0 will be infinity so this is undefined I hope that you understood this question after that we have part number 3 and 4 and part number 8 and 9 from part number 3 and 4 and 8 and 9 so I am going to take part number 8, 235 over 2 pi. Here is part number 8, 235 over 2 pi. Here is, you can check. Now we will move anti clockwise, it will be positive. divided by 2 that is 117.5 117.5 so dear students you can check this number 235 over 2 pi 100 for one complete rotation you have 2 pi then second rotation 
फोर पाई सिक्स पाई एट पाई हंड्रेड पाई टू हंड्रेड पाई टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन पाई अब टू है टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन देन वी हैव वन पॉइंट फाइव मोर टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन एक्चुअली दिस टू वन हंड्रेड रदर वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन यस ओके वन हंड्रेड सो दिस इज वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन वी रीच हेयर आफ्टर दैट वन पाई हेयर एंड पॉइंट फॉर फाइव पाई हेयर सो डियर स्टूडेंट यू कैन चेक it is actually 270 or 3 pi by 2 after whole complete rotation the coterminal angle will be 3 pi by 2 so dear students that was very important point that where is the terminal coterminal angle so sin 235 over 2 pi is equal to sin 117.5 pi is equal to sin 270 that is minus 1 yes here is minus 1 after that cos 235 over 2 pi is equal to cos 270 now i am writing down first value given value Last value, co-terminal value. You can write down two seventy or three pi by two. That is same. And cos two seventy is zero. After that, tangent two thirty five pi by two. That is equal to tangent two seventy. What about tangent two seventy? Yes, this will be tangent ninety. So it is undefined. And cotangent two thirty five over two pi. Cotangent is the reciprocal of that. So something over infinity is equal to zero. And cos its reciprocal is secant two thirty five over two pi secant two seventy. And secant is actually one over cos. So one over zero is equal to Infinity and opposite of sine is to secant theta two thirty five over two pi that is equal to two secant two seventy that is equal to minus one over one or one over minus one that will be minus one so this was your part number eight dear students after that we have. Uh, part number five minus fifteen pi. Then we will take part number out of part number six and seven. One part we will take from part number five and six and seven. Part number five is minus fifteen pi. Minus fifteen pi. Yes. Dear students, again we will move here. In case of negative angle, you move clockwise. This is minus two pi. Yes. This is minus two pi, minus four pi, minus ten pi, minus fourteen pi. We reach here minus fourteen pi. Then this will be equal to minus fifteen pi. So minus fifteen pi is actually minus pi. So sine minus pi minus sine pi that will be zero. And you have seen, I think, in the first part also we did that. Similarly, cos minus pi that will be minus will become plus. Cos pi that is minus one, and in this way you can find the other parts. I hope that you can do this.
basic concept is to find the coterminal angle after rotations we have part number yes part number uh, 7 part number 7 is basically minus 2 4 3 0 minus 2 4 3 0 here students again you can check clockwise it will be negative angle so this will be after one rotation that is minus 360 and the second rotation it will become minus 720 then next rotation and similarly moving on and we will move to here last time we will reach here actually it will be minus 270 when you move clockwise this will be minus 270 or plus 90 if you take from this side this will be minus 270 and if you take from the zero from the positive coterminal angle that is 90 degree so dear students if you write down sine minus 2430 is equal to sine 90 sine 90 is 1 so in this way in this way you can have sin 90 is 1 similarly what will be cos 90 that is 0 tangent 90 infinity undefined and take the reciprocal of that this will be 1 over infinity become 0 secant is 1 over 0 become infinity and cosecant become 1 over 1 is equal to 1 I hope that you understood this question. You can complete it. You have the calculator. Make use of your calculator. And find the coterminal angle from positive side or from negative side. After that, question number 6. I think your question number 6 is exactly according to question number 5. If you understood this question number 5, you can do question number 6 also. It will be easy for you. Now we will have exercise 9.4. Uh, prove the following identity is state the domain of theta in each case. So dear students, exercise 9.4. Prove the following identities.
Question number four and question number six. I'm choosing question number six. Cotangent sin theta minus cos square theta. Cotangent sin theta minus cos square theta is equal to cotangent square into cos square. Left hand side. Cotangent square minus cos square. Cotangent square is cos square theta over sine square theta. Minus cos square theta. Taking LCM as sine square theta. Sine square, sine square cancelled out. We have cos square theta minus cos square theta sine square theta. Dear students, from the numerator you can take cos square theta common into 1 minus sin square theta divided by sin square theta. Here is cos square theta and 1 minus sin square is also cos square theta divided by sin square theta. After that you can have cos square theta over sin square theta this sin square can be written under this cos square and now write down sin square under both this is multiplication, this is one term only so you cannot write down sin square under both otherwise it will become wrong so in case of multiplication so many terms are multiplied but still it will be one term and sin square under only one one part that will be cos square theta. So this is cotangent square theta cos square theta. That was your right hand side. That was your right hand side. Cos square over sin square is cotangent square, and this one is your right side. Hope that you understood this question. Question number 14. 
secant plus tangent whole square. Secant theta minus tangent theta whole square. Secant theta minus tangent theta whole square is equal to one minus sine over one plus sine. One minus sine theta over one plus sine theta. Taking left hand side, secant theta minus tangent theta whole square, secant is 1 over cos theta, sine over sine theta over cos theta whole square. Taking LCM as cos theta, 1 minus sine theta whole square. Dear students, distribute this power on both. 1 minus sine theta square over cos square theta. You know cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. Cos square theta is 1 minus sine square. And you know that 1 minus sine square theta can be written as 1's negative, 1's positive. So this 1 power is cancelled with that. Bracket in denominator, we have 1 minus sine over 1 plus sine. That is your right hand side. Dear students, that was your question number 14. After that, we have Question number 15 and 16 uh, and 17. Now I am choosing question number 17. Question number 17. Tangent plus cotangent whole square. Tangent theta plus cotangent theta whole square is equal to secant square cosecant square. Secant square theta cosecant square theta. Here is to the left hand side. Tangent theta plus Cotangent theta whole square. Tangent is sine over cos. Cotangent is cos over sine whole square. You can take cos theta sine theta LCM. Cos cos cancelled out sine and sine. Sine square theta. Sine sine cancelled out cos and cos cos square theta whole square. Sine square plus cos square theta is 1. 1 over cos theta and 1 over sine theta whole square. So you can write down 1 over cos square theta, 1 over sine square theta. Distribute this power 2 on both. Here, 1 over cos square, 1 over. Taken 1 over cos square is secant square theta and 1 over sine square is to secant square theta. That's your right hand side. So dear students, that's your answer. After that we have question number 18, 19 and I am taking question number 19. 1 over cosecant minus cotangent. 1 over cosecant theta minus cotangent theta minus 1 over sine is equal to 1 over sine. 1 over sine, then minus 1 over cosecant.
कोसीकेंड प्लस कोटेंजन कोसीकेंड प्लस कोटेंजन यू विल ब्रिंग दिस माइनस वन ओवर कोसीकेंड कोटेंजन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड हेयर इज वन ओवर कोसीकेंड थीटा माइनस कोटेंजन थीटा प्लस वन ओवर कोसीकेंड थीटा प्लस कोटेंजन थीटा दैट इज वन ओवर साइन प्लस वन ओवर साइन Okay, we brought that this negative term to the left hand side and minus one over sine is shifted to the right hand side also, and right hand side is two over sine theta. You can say two one over sine is cosecant theta. So dear students, right hand side is two cosecant theta. Left hand side we have to prove it, and the same answer must be obtained. Now we will simplify our left hand side to make the right hand side equal. Now we will take cosecant theta minus cotangent theta, cosecant theta plus cotangent theta. This is LCM. Right hand side as it is. Two cosecant theta. Two cosecant theta. Right hand side as it is. Left hand side. I have taken the LCM. So this is cancelled with this negative sign. The second bracket will come up. Cosecant theta plus cotangent theta plus cosecant theta minus cotangent theta. Cotangent cotangent cancelled out. We have two cosecant theta. Denominator is. Cosecant square theta minus cotangent square theta, because this is a minus b a plus b a square minus b square. So, dear students, your left hand side is two cosecant theta over. Remember that we have fundamental trigonometric identity that is one plus cotangent square theta. Is equal to cosecant square theta. Remember that this is your fundamental trigonometric identity. So in place of cosecant square, we can write down one plus cotangent square theta minus cotangent square theta. They are cancelled out. And two cosecant over one is two cosecant. So you can write down left hand side is equal to right hand side. So dear students, that was your question number. 19. After that, we have question number 20. Uh, rather, no, 20, 22, 23, and 24. So, I am taking question number 22. Theta, rather you can write down sine four theta. 
प्लस कॉस फोर थीटा माइनस साइन स्केर थीटा कॉस स्केर थीटा डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू कंप्लीट द स्केर ऑफ दीज टू टर्म्स वी विल एड एंड सब्रैक्ट We will add and subtract two cos square theta sine square theta minus two cos square theta sine square theta minus sine square cos square. Already, we have already this this term. So by adding and subtracting two sine square cos square. we can make this whole as complete square so what is complete square this is sin square theta plus cos square theta whole square and minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta dear students sin square plus cos square is 1 so 1 square minus 3 sin square cos square theta That will be equal to one minus three sine square cos square theta. That is your answer. So, dear students, that is your question number twenty-two, exercise nine point four. I hope that those parts which I left, you can complete at home by yourself, and in this way, inshallah, you will have. Better preparation of your test and exam. Okay, allow me. Then, as long as you want.